Good day, dear students. Let's start our lesson. This is module 5, lesson number 2, considering success in business. The learning objectives are Understand specific information in and detail in extended text on a wide range of familiar and unfamiliar general and curricular topics. Deduce meaning from context in extending text on a wide range of familiar and unfamiliar general and curricular topics. Explain and justify own and others' point of view on a range of general and curricular topics, including some unfamiliar topics. Develop intercultural awareness through reading and discussion. Use a wide range of vocabulary which is appropriate to topic and genre and which is spelled accurately. Let's start our lesson with new vocabulary. Listen and repeat. Magazine Stroyматериалов. Brick and mortar store. Ответвление. Branch out. Branch out into something. Гидропоника. Hydroponics. Совместное предприятие. Joint venture. Беспорядок. Jumble. Предпринимательство. Entrepreneurship. Углеродный нейтральный. Carbon neutral. Флот. Fleet. Преобразование. Conversion. Наивно. Naively. Пятерка. Fiver. Now please open your books at page number 64, exercise number 1. Look at the title and subheadings of the text. Which of these young entrepreneurs stand out for you and why? We have three young entrepreneurs. Armand Eskanbaev, he is the builder of multiple businesses. Nika Williamson, he is a founder of Climate Cars. And Edwin Brony Manson, creator of Give Me Tap. Now, uh, answer the question, which of these young entrepreneurs stand out for you and why? For example, Armand Eskanbaev stands out for me because he started more than one business. Think and answer. Let's continue our lesson. Listen to the text and understand the general information. Young entrepreneurs making their mark. A growing number of internet-savvy 20-somethings are starting their own businesses and forging their own paths in life. Here are a few prime examples. A. Arman Toskanbaev, builder of multiple businesses. Arman Toskanbaev has a luxurious home with collectible artwork on the walls and a beautiful grand piano. But he didn't grow up in a wealthy family. I did not have any talents, he says, citing the fact that his academic scores at school were relatively low and he showed no particular skill in sports lessons. Arman, however, believed everyone has a talent and all he had to do was find his. He enjoyed learning about computers and began fixing them first at school, and then for family and friends. People paid him for his work, and when he was just 16, he opened a brick-and-mortar store in his local town. In one summer, he earned his first million tenj. Our man didn't stop at computers, though. In 2014, he branched out into agriculture, opening new green technology and bringing hydroponics to Kazakhstan, a method that allows people to grow plants indoors without soil. Two years later, he started a joint venture, Zertis, with an aeroponics expert. The company provides systems for growing herbs and vegetables that are usually imported to Kazakhstan at great financial and environmental cost. Our man also owns two other companies and has created a scheme called the Youth Business Association to support other young entrepreneurs. Many people think that you need capital to start a business, he says. 
I myself, no matter what business I created, I never asked my parents nor anyone else for money. Every time I created it from scratch. Our man's story is an inspiration to all aspiring entrepreneurs. B. Nico Williamson, founder of Climate Cars. Nico Williamson's office is in a state of organized chaos. The shelves are filled with an assorted jumble of stuff, two smartphones, a financial newspaper, and a novel which he has yet to read. No time, he explains. A heavy workload is the nature of entrepreneurship. It's no surprise that Williamson is run off his feet. In 2007, he launched the carbon-neutral taxi company Climate Cars after he graduated in modern history from Bristol University. When he finally sold the company in 2015, the business ran a fleet of more than 100 cars and generated more than £1 million in profit. He had the idea for Climate Cars after driving past a garage in Bristol that offered environmentally friendly car conversions. It's easy to get stuck in a rut and not see the bigger picture. I always loved cars, but felt guilty about loving them, admits Williamson, whose great-grandfather, William Watson, was a racing car driver. Then I thought, why not make taxis greener? He sought investment from his family and friends and put together a business plan while writing his dissertation. He has since started another company called WeFlex. What are his ambitions for the future? Probably to grow this business into one of the biggest car companies in London. C. Edwin Bronny Mensa, creator of Give Me Tap. Edwin Bronny Mensa, you could argue, is a scholar or a philanthropist whose scheme is either naively idealistic, brilliant, or both. It was through playing squash at university that Bronny Mensa came up with Give Me Tap. While studying for his PhD, sport was his sanctuary. Yet something didn't add up. Tap water is free and portable, but I was spending a fiver a day on bottled water. The concept of Give Me Tap was born, which works like this. You purchase a blue bottle made from recycled aluminium from his website and take it into any cafe which has signed up to the scheme. Your bottle is then filled with tap water for free, thus reducing the wastage, helping communities in Africa install clean water pumps. 70% of the profits go towards this, and saving you money. It may seem ludicrous to invest seven years of education into a non-profit scheme. All my friends are bankers, and I'm their poor mate. But it's my choice, he laughs. How did he manage to launch the project while also completing his PhD? I follow Parkinson's law. Work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. Bronnie Mensa thinks our peculiar obsession with buying plastic bottles is little more than cultural conditioning. We're too proud to ask for free water in the same way we feel the need to buy crisps to use a cafe's toilet, he says. Now, please, stop the video and read and translate the text. I hope that you've read and translated the text successfully. Now, open your books at page 64, exercise number 2. Read again the text and for questions from 1 to 7, choose from the people from A to C. A. Armand Askanbaev, B. Nika Williamson and C. Edwin Brony Mensa. What are the questions? They are, according to the text, which person received funding from people close to them? has started a new business in the same field as their first, did not excel in school, has a business as a result of something not making sense, implies wanted to challenge people's ingrained attitudes, did not rely on financial investments from others to start their company, is not intimidated by the lack of financial rewards from the enterprise. Stop the video and answer the questions. After doing this task, send your answers for your teacher. Let's continue. Vocabulary work. Exercise number 3 at page 64. Find the antonyms of the following words in the text. Text A. Unambitious. Bezambiciozny. Poverty stricken. Nishi. From the text B. Order. Paryadok. Loss. Patera. 
and from the text C, immovable, abyss division, increasing, увеличивающийся, возрастающий. And also send it to your teacher for checking. Now you are going to practice your speaking skills. Exercise 6a, page 65. What was each person's inspiration for starting their business? Explain in your own words. For example, Arman Toskanbaev's inspiration for starting his business was that he understood his talent was related to computers and technology. Answer the question about two young entrepreneurs, Nika Williamson and Edwin Brony Mensa. What was each person's inspiration for starting their business? Answer please. Exercise 6b, page 65. This is writing task. Choose the person in the text that immersed you most. What is immersive about him? In your opinion, what is the secret of his success? For example, the person that immersed me most was Edwin Brony Mensa because he uses his business to help those in need and that he managed to do it while still studying. The secret to, the, to his success is his time management skills to make sure he spent time on his business and still completed his education. Please think of the person in the text that immersed you most, write down your answers and also send it to your teacher to get your formative assessment for the lesson. Now, at the end of the lesson, we have assessment criteria. Please assess yourself. Put tick if you are sure that your competence is good. Put square if it is very good. And circle if your competence is excellent. Now I can read the text about young entrepreneurs, use new vocabulary and understand the context. Identify the entrepreneurs without mistakes and speak of young businessmen of different countries. Thank you for the lesson. Goodbye.